Hello, Jonathan Landeros for Kativ Technologies. In this video, I'm going to show five part modeling tips inside of Autodesk Inventor. Now, just like the sketch modeling tips that I created before, these aren't in any particular order, just how they came into my mind. But hopefully, there's something you can begin using right away. So let's have a look. Starting with the first tip. If you've used Inventor for a while, and used work planes, you probably know that you can choose an offset work plane by activating the tool, choosing a face to offset from, and then dragging out the distance that you want. You could then create a sketch on top of that work plane by choosing the sketch tool and selecting the edge of the plane representation. Works great. But did you know that if you go and start the sketch directly with the sketch tool, then choose the face you want to offset from, you can create the offset plane and the sketch in one shot. It's a nice little trick that saves a little bit of time and does make things flow a little bit simpler. Go ahead, give it a try. The next tool on the list is a tool called Select Other. This tool will let me select a face, an edge, a vertex, for example, even though I can't see it visually on the screen. Let's see an example. I've got this component, and I'm going to hover over one of the blue faces. A menu appears where I can pull a flyout open and see different faces and so on that I could pick, even though they're not in my line of sight, if you will. This can come in real handy for picking a face or an edge or something, if I don't want to turn the part around for some reason. Another way of accessing the tool, instead of waiting for the hover time, is to right click immediately and select other will appear and you can choose when it comes up. So there's a couple of ways you can access this functionality. Now, there's also what I call a pro tip. If you want to use that hover time, but it's a little too long for you, I can go to the Tools menu, choose Application Options, and locate the Select Other display. It's currently set to the default value of 2 seconds. However, you can change this to whatever you want. As a matter of fact, if you don't like the tool at all and don't choose to use it, you can type the word OFF in there and it won't come up at all, ever. But I do think it's something worth taking a look at, and it works in multiple environments, part environment, assembly environment, and so on. Here's a tool that's been around for a few releases, but some of us may not know about it. The ability to sweep a profile using an edge. Back in the day, a sketch had to be created as a sweep path. There wasn't an option. You had to use a sketch. Now, if an edge exists, just select the sweep tool, select your profile, and then choose the edge to follow. No extra step needed. That might be helpful, especially if you've been creating that sketch the whole time, not realizing it may not have been necessary. Here is another tip on creating a basic four hole pattern. The type of pattern you'd use where a hole is evenly spaced off the corners of something like a lid, for example. Now I could place one hole, then create a rectangular pattern, and use a little math to make sure that when I change the dimensions of the lid, the pattern updates appropriately. But I use the four letter word of math. I don't like math. Here's a way you can use it with just some simple construction geometry. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start a new sketch. I'll select the face that I want to start the sketch on, and now, I'll use a tool called Offset, and I'll just offset the perimeter of my lid in and give it the dimension that is the appropriate amount for the spacing that I want. The default settings for Inventor allow the offset to be spaced with one dimension. That's it. Now I go ahead and finish my sketch. I start my hole tool. And notice, Inventor can place a hole on a sketch and all it needs is a point, such as the points of the rectangle I just offset. I select those four points, 
complete my hole, and I'm done. Now if I ever change the dimensions of the lid, the offset remembers the spacing that I want and it will update appropriately. Also, if I need to change the spacing, I can quickly change it and maintain the equal spacing that I desire off of each corner. Can come in real handy when you need it. Here's a final tip on creating features inside a component, such as an O-ring groove on the cylinder that I'm showing as an example. I've already created the sketch, but I can't easily see inside. Sure, I could go to wireframe or some sort of setting like that, but here's another option. When the sketch is active, choose the Slice Graphics tool. This virtually cuts the part, doesn't remove any material, it's just a virtual cut, and allows you to easily see inside. Then I can follow up and locate the Project Cut Geometry tool, underneath the Project Geometry tool, and use that to go ahead and project the cut edges to give me something to position the sketch with. Then I can go ahead and finish up my feature like any other. So that's it, five modeling tips inside of Autodesk Inventor. Go ahead and give them a try. If you haven't tried them, I think it's worth a look. I think they are something that'll make your modeling experience just a little bit smoother. That's it for this video. Have a great day.